Hello everyone, a very warm welcome in today's online learning session. Pyaare Vidyarthiyo, aaj de is online learning session vich thwaada sab da swagat hai. Today we will learn parts of speech. Aaj jasi parts of speech padan ja rahe hain. Let us start now. Parts of speech. Let us look at the following sentences. Pyaare Vidyarthiyo, हेठा लिखे सेंटेंसेस नो देखो अते पढ़ो द फर्स्ट सेंटेंस इज ही फाउंड हिज हाउस सेकंड द बॉयज एट द वनीला केक इन द इवनिंग थर्ड सेंटेंस दे आर कमिंग टुडे फोर्थ सेंटेंस शी इज माय बेस्ट फ्रेंड Fifth sentence. Wow, what a beautiful flower! Every word in the English language falls into one or more categories. These categories determine how a word functions in a sentence to produce meaning. These categories are called the parts of speech. The blue color words in the above sentences are parts of speech. Pyaare vidyarthiyo, upar jo panch sentences likhe han, ena vich blue color wale words te dhyan do. He, vanilla, coming, best, wow. English language de vich har ek word kise na kise category vich aunda hai. Ena categories nu hi asi parts of speech can they the basic parts of speech are noun verb adjective adverb pronoun conjunction preposition and interjection now look at the following sentences great meera and her friend are the only brilliant girls with the highest score in class meera friend girls class score these are noun a n d and it falls into conjunction category her pronoun in and with are prepositions only o n l y only is adverb r verb t h e the it is article brilliant highest these are adjectives great interjection pyare vidyarthiyo parts of speech te jehde basic parts han o ki han noun verb adjective adverb pronoun conjunction preposition ate interjection a basic parts of speech han jime hetha likhe sentence de vich first great a interjection hai meera noun and conjunction her pronoun friend noun are helping verb the article only adverb brilliant adjective girls noun with preposition the article highest adjective score noun in preposition class noun is tarah tusi dekhya pure sentence da har ek word kise na kise category vich fall karda hai inna categories nu hi assi parts of speech kehnde ha to parts of speech are nouns verbs adjectives 
conjunctions, pronouns, adverbs, prepositions, interjection. Now, what are nouns? If the word names a person, place, thing or idea, it is a noun. Jede shabd kise person, place, vastu, thing or idea, vichar nu present kar de han, o nanu asi noun kyan de han. Jime, book, thing, rajan, person, cat, animal, justice, idea, parrot, bird, amritsar, a place, school bus, object or thing, cake, object, shoes, object, प्यारे विद्यार्थियों अपने आले द्वारे अपनी क्लास दे कमरे विच ही ध्यान दो देयर आर सो मेनी नाउन्स जिमे चॉक बोर्ड बेंचेस स्टूडेंट्स टीचर बैग नोटबुक्स बुक्स चॉक चेयर टेबल फैन वॉल्स चार्ट्स एटसेट्रा थोड़े आस पास बहुत सारे नाउन थोनू नजर आओगे। नाउन सर्च, लेट अस लर्न विद एन एक्टिविटी नाउ। अंडरलाइन द नाउन्स इन द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसेस। द फर्स्ट सेंटेंसेस, द किड्स वेंट टू द माउंटेन्स। सेकंड, दे स्टेड एट अ बिग कैबिन। थर्ड the cabin had lots of games. Fourth, the boys built a fort using snow. Fifth, the girls built a snowman. Sixth, they decorated it with a scarf. Seventh, the kids toasted marshmallows. Eighth, they ate popcorn and candy. Ninth, the family watched a movie. Tenth, the trip was fun. Pyaare vidyarthiyo, in a thus sentences which to see her ek sentence which jo noun hai, us no underline karna hai. Aao ikathe ina no underline kariye. The kids went to the mountains. Kids, mountains. Second sentence, they stayed at a big cabin. Cabin is a noun. Third, the cabin had lots of games. Cabin, games. Fourth sentence, the boys built a fort using snow. Boys, fort, snow. Fifth sentence, the girls built a snowman. Girls, snowman. Sixth sentence, they decorated it with a scarf. Scarf is a noun. Seventh sentence, the kids toasted marshmallows. Kids, Marshmallows. Eighth sentence. They ate popcorn and candy. Popcorn, candy. Ninth sentence. The family watched a movie. Family, movie. And the tenth sentence. The trip was fun. Trip is a noun. So, we have kids, mountains, cabin, games, boys, fort, snow, girls, snowman, scarf, marshmallows, popcorn, candy, family, movie and trip are the nouns. 
Now look at the following sentences. First sentence again, he found his house. Second, I ate the vanilla cake in the evening. Third sentence, they are coming today. Fourth, she is my best friend. Fifth, you ate my lunch. Now look at the blue color words again. He, I, they, she, you. These words are pronouns. We use a pronoun when we do not want to repeat a noun or a noun phrase. The words such as they, she, her, he and it are used in place of nouns. Pyaare vidyarthiyo, jo shabd noun ja noun phrase di jagah te varte jande han, unan wasi pronoun kende. In a sentences which jede nile rang de words han, ਉਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਨਾਉਂਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਨਾਉਂਸ ਦਾ ਇਹ ਚਾਰਟ ਧਿਆਨ ਨਾਲ ਦੇਖੋ ਫਸਟ ਪਰਸਨ ਸਿੰਗੂਲਰ ਆਈ ਸਬਜੈਕਟ ਦੇ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਆਈ ਯੂਜ਼ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਫਸਟ ਪਰਸਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਬਜੈਕਟ ਦੇ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਮੀ ਕਹਿ ਕੇ ਲਿਖ ਕੇ ਯੂਜ਼ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਦੀ ਪੋਜੈਸਿਵ ਫਾਰਮ ਐਡਜੈਕਟਿਵ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਾਈ ਪੋਜੈਸਿਵ ਪ੍ਰੋਨਾਉਂਸ ਫਾਰਮ ਮਾਈਨ ਰਿਫਲੈਕਸਿਵ ਪ੍ਰੋਨਾਉਂਸ ਫਾਰਮ myself is it a second person you is no object te taur te vi you hi likha janda hai is the possessive form adjective which your or possessive form pronouns which yours the reflexive pronoun yourself third person singular agar male hai he object di jagah te him possessive adjective his possessive pronoun we his te is the reflexive pronoun himself third person singular agar female hai ta she aur uska objective pronoun her possessive adjective her possessive pronoun hers te reflexive pronoun herself third person it ta uska objective we it possessive adjectives its possessive pronoun be its the reflexive pronoun itself first person agar plural hai agar singular si ta i lekin agar plural hai ta we aur us di objective form aayegi us possessive form adjective which our possessive pronoun ours and reflexive pronouns ourselves second person agar plural hai ta vi oh you hi hunda hai objective pronoun be you possessive adjective your possessive pronoun yourself yours and reflexive pronoun yourselves yourselves v e s now second person singular which yourself si second person plural which yourselves ho gaya hai s e l v e s third person plural they objective pronoun them possessive adjective t h e i r there don't confuse with t h e r e it is t h e i r possessive pronouns theirs reflexive pronouns themselves dhyan do jab bhi plural ho janda hai to reflexive vich v e s ourselves yourselves themselves Now let us do an activity of pronouns. The first sentence, do you know that girl? Do you know dash? My sister and I have enough food. Dash can all share. Third, Raj and Reema are late. Dash should hurry. Fourth, he gave Dash a beautiful gift. I really like it. Fifth, buffaloes are very big, so dash eat a lot of food. Sixth, my sister is studying hard because dash has a test tomorrow. Seventh sentence, are you okay? 
कैन आई हेल्प डैश प्यारे विद्यार्थियों इन सेंटेंसिस के देखो फस्ट सेंटेंस के नाउन दिता है और सैकेंड सेंटेंस विच उसे नाउन के नाल रिलेटिड प्रनाउन भरना है आओ इकट्ठे इस एक्टिविटी को करिए डू यू नो दैट गर्ल सो द नाउन इज गर्ल सो डू यू नो हर माई सिस्टर एंड आई हैव इन फूड माई सिस्टर एंड आई इन दोनों लिए असं की यूज करा वी We can all share. Raj and Reema are late. Raj and Reema. They should hurry. He gave me a beautiful gift. कि मैं पता चल गया कि इतने मी आएगा नाल ही जुड़ते हुए सेंटेंस तो देखो I really like it. तो असी आई दे मी यूज किया Fifth sentence: Buffaloes are very big, so they eat a lot of food. Buffaloes they lay t h e y they lagaya. My sister is studying hard because she has a test tomorrow. She kis the lay aya? My sister. Seventh sentence: Are you okay? You pronoun use kita gaya hai. कैन आई हैल्प यू तो उसके लिए अगे यू ही यूज किया गया एक बार फिर पढ़ लिए डू यू नो दैट गर्ल डू यू नो हर माई सिस्टर एंड आई हैव इन अ फूड वी कैन ऑल शेयर राज एंड रीमा आर लेट दे शुड हरी ही गेव मी अ ब्यूटिफुल गिफ्ट आई रियली लाइक इट buffaloes are very big so they eat a lot of food my sister is studying hard because she has a test tomorrow are you okay can i help you dear students now let us learn prepositions any word that is used with a noun to show its relation with some other word in the sentence is a preposition prepositions noun ya pronoun de hor shabdan de naal sambandh darshaunde han relation with some other word in the sentence prepositions show position of a noun or pronoun noun ya pronoun di position dasde han jive on in under below over etc there are many types of prepositions like time place location etc there is a difference between on and over on at the over which difference hai there is a difference between under and below under at the below which we difference hai in which space the difference aanda jo cheez naal judi hui hai aur utte hai ta on और उस थोड़ा स्पेस है तो ओवर दैट द स्काई इज ओवर आवर हैड देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन अंडर एंड बिलो अंडर एंड बिलो विच भी स्पेस का ही डिफरेंस आता है अगर नाल जुड़ी है और हेठा है तो अंडर अगर डिफरेंस है स्पेस का तो बिलो जिमें द कैट इज सिटिंग अंडर द टेबल देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन इन एंड इन टू इन एंड इन टू विच डायरेक्शन का डिफरेंस है in on and at are used at different places to denote time now look at the picture and fill in the blanks that follow pyare vidyarthiyo is picture nu dhyan nal dekho aur is to baad jehde blanks aange ohna nu assi bharange oh isse picture de nal related honge jive picture vich kuch characters han neha sonu anu Mrs. Raj, Mrs. Rani, Tony, and a dog also. A crow. There are birds also. Aao is a picture that is related. Some sentences. See. The crow is sitting dash the tree. 
the crow is sitting yes the crow is sitting on the tree tony is dash the tree tony kithe yes tony is under the tree mrs raj and mrs rani are sitting dash the bench mrs raj and mrs rani are sitting on the bench sonu is playing dash anu sonu is playing with anu birds are flying dash the sky birds are flying in the sky neha is sitting dash the tree neha is sitting under the tree the dog is playing dash the ball the dog is playing with the ball the dog is playing dash the ground so the dog is playing on the ground let us do these sentences once again the crow is sitting on the tree tony is under the tree Mrs Raj and Mrs Rani are sitting on the bench Sonu is playing with Anu Birds are flying in the sky Neha is sitting under the tree The dog is playing with the ball The dog is playing on the ground dear students let us learn adjectives now there are words that describe an object and tell about the qualities of the object like color impact nature shape size etc the words that describe the qualities of a noun or pronoun are known as adjectives pyare vidyarthiyo adjectives nu assi visheshan vi kende han visheshan jo naam ja parnaav di visheshta dasde han jive color kis tarah da hai nature kis tarah hai shape keho ji hai साइज किस तरह का है एटसेट्रा सो द वर्ड्स दैट डिस्क्राइब द क्वालिटीज ऑफ अ नाउन और प्रनाउन आर नोन एज एडजेक्टिव कलर द एडजेक्टिव इन द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसिज हेठा लिखे सेंटेंसिज जो एडजेक्टिव हैं उन्होंने कलर करना है सो द फस्ट सेंटेंस इज सोनू इज अ डिसऑनस्ट man second sentence dolly is 6 years old third sentence there is little hope of her survival fourth sentence how many marks have you got fifth sentence this is our school sixth sentence I washed him with my own eyes. Seventh sentence: Those flowers are beautiful. Let us color the adjectives together. Our adjectives no color kariye. First sentence: Sonu is a dishonest man. Dishonest, beiman. Second sentence. Dolly is six years old. Six years. Third, there is little hope of her survival. Little. Fourth sentence. How many marks have you got? How many? Fifth sentence. This is our school. Our is an adjective. 6th 
sentence i washed him with my own eyes own o w n own seventh sentence those flowers are beautiful beautiful is an adjective so dear students let us read the sentences once again sonu is a dishonest man dishonest is an adjective dolly is 6 years old 6 is an adjective there is little hope of her survival little is an adjective how many marks have you got how many is an adjective this is our school our is an adjective i washed him with my own eyes own is an adjective here those flowers are beautiful beautiful is an adjective that qualify flowers let us learn verbs now what is a verb verbs are the action words in a sentence that describe what the subject is doing pyare vidyarthiyo verbs nu assi hindi punjabi vich kriya kehnde ha action words han jinna words naal kise kam da karna ja hona paya janda hai ohna nu kriya keha janda hai assi life vich vicharde hoye kai tarah de kam karde ha ohna nu hi ਕਿਰਿਆ ਕਿਹਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਰਨ ਸਵਿਮ ਜੰਪ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਭੱਜਣਾ ਦੌੜਨਾ ਤੈਰਨਾ ਕੁੱਦਣਾ ਪੜਨਾ ਹੋਰ ਵੀ ਕਈ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਰਬਸ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਨ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਵਰਡ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਐਨ ਰਨ ਭੱਜਣਾ ਪਲੇ ਪ ਐਲ ਏ ਵਾਈ play khedna c r y cry rona d r i n k drink peena look vekhna listen sunna w r i t e write likhna b u i l d build ਬਣਾਉਣਾ R I D E ride ਸਾਈਕਲ ਚਲਾਉਣਾ K N O C K knock ਖੜਕਾਉਣਾ L A U G H laugh ਹੱਸਣਾ H U G hug ਮਿਲਣਾ D A N C E dance ਨੱਚਣਾ D R A W draw banauna ja chitrit karna c l a p clap taadi marna p a i n t paint rang karna b r u s h brush hair wala nu kangi karna ja wala vich brush pherna c a double l ਕਾਲ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਫੋਨ ਕਰਨਾ ਕਾਲ ਕਰਨਾ ਆਰ ਈ ਏ ਡੀ ਰੀਡ ਪੜਨਾ ਕੇ ਆਈ ਸੀ ਕੇ ਕਿਕ ਕਿਕ ਕਰਨਾ ਸੀ ਐਲ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਬੀ ਕਲਿਮ ਚੜਨਾ ਜੇ ਯੂ ਐਮ ਪੀ ਜੰਪ ਕੁੱਦਣਾ y a w n yon ubasi lena ta kede kede verbs hunde apne kol run play cry drink look listen write build ride knock laugh hug dance draw clap paint brush hair call read kick claim jump yo these are action words and we call these words 
as verb. Let us do an activity. Circle the verbs. प्यारे विद्यार्थियों थोन इतने कुछ वर्ड्स दिते गए हैं इन वर्ड्स में पहला तो आप वर्ब्स लभने हैं और उस तो बाद कंप्लीट द सेंटेंस यूजिंग द वर्ब्स फ्रॉम द अब फिर उन्होंने जोड़े वर्ब हैं उन्होंने ये नीचे वाले एक्सरसाइज जो है वो फिल करा वर्ब्स में आओ पहल उपर वाले वर्ड्स में देखिए और सर्कल करने की कोशिश की करिए दसो वर्ब कि वॉक fly rights walk chalna ye verb hai inu apni copy vich circle karo fly udna verb hai circle karo w r i t e s rights likhna e bhi verb hai k i t t e n kitten balungda it is not a verb it is a noun b double o k book book ek verb bhi ho sakta hai aur ek noun bhi ho sakta hai jime we book a ticket for train and this is my book ta ye dono ho sakta hai s a n g sang ek verb hai isnu bhi circle karo s ए वाई से कहना सर्कल इट एस टी ओ पी स्टॉप इट इज अ वर्ब सर्कल इट एस टी डबल ओ डी स्टूड इट इज अ वर्ब इसन भी सर्कल करना चाहिए ई ए टी ईट वर्ब है पी ए पी ई आर पेपर इट इज अ नाउन बी एल ए एन के ई टी ब्लैंकेट it is a noun water is a noun mouse is a noun pig is a noun now let us complete the sentences with the verbs i eat an apple every day let us stop for some ice cream we stood still for our picture tim writes letters to his cousin we walk to the playground after school the singer sang a sad song dear students read each sentence below and look carefully at the underlined words pyare vidyarthiyo hetha kuch sentences dite gaye han underlined words nu dhyan nal dekho aur dasso kis parts of speech vich e fall karde han jive first sentence rose next again rose and third again rose ethe assi e dekhna ke rose किस तरह यूज होया एज अ नाउन एज एन एडजेक्टिव और एज अ वर्क अगेन फोर्थ विच देखो बुक एंड फिफ्थ विच फेयर बुक जो हमने थोनो सिखाया है पिछली स्लाइड विच सिक्स्थ विच फेयर बुक आया है सेवंथ कॉर्नर एट कॉर्नर्स लेट अस डू इट टुगेदर द फर्स्ट वन अ फ्रेश रोज नाउन हैव अ रोज गार्डन गार्डन दे नाल लगे है रोज एडजेक्टिव द पपी रोज राइज रोज राइज रोज वर्ब के तौर पर लगे ही विल बुक अ होटल बुक वर्ब आई बॉर अ न्यू बुक नाउन अ बुक क्लब एडजेक्टिव कॉर्नर द माउस वर्ब कॉर्नर ऑफ माई बुक नाउन नेक्स्ट अगेन कॉर्नर एंड इन टेंथ सेंटेंस येलो इलेवन सेंटेंस येलो ट्वेल्थ सेंटेंस येलो in the 13th sentence it is baby in the 14th sentence it is baby and in the 15th sentence again it is baby let us do it together i live in the corner house corner house adjective some paper yellow with age verb dina needs yellow paint yellow paint adjective yellow is a nice color here it is used as noun i like baby pink color which type of pink baby pink so it is qualifying the color that's it is adjective the baby kept crying ethe matlab aaya hai bachcha so it is a noun my grandmother likes to 
baby me to baby me ithe eh verb de jagah te use hoya hai te pyare vidyarthiyo tusi dhyan ditta tusi dekhya ki ik hi word nu alag alag tarah naal use kita ja sakda hai eh thodi textual exercise hai inu ik var fer dekh lo aur copies vich kar lo first noun then second adjective and in third sentence the rose is verb again fourth which jo book aaya hai verb fifth which jo book hai ho noun sixth which book club means adjective seventh which corner the mouse verb eighth which corners of my book noun and ninth which corner house adjective tenth which yellow is used as verb eleventh which yellow is used as adjective twelfth which yellow is used as noun again baby adjective baby noun and baby verb dear students now this is the time for your home assignment find out the correct pair of speech find out the correct part of speech of the following italicized words kuch italicized word ditte gaye han oh jis bhi part of speech de vich fall karde han us nu tusi samne likhna hai dear students i hope you learn parts of speech very effectively and you know how to use these parts of speech in your language i hope you can do the assignment easily This is the PPT presented by Narendra Kaur working as English mistress at Government High School Brahman Majra District Fatehgarh Sahib Punjab It is an initiative by Department of School Education Punjab Thank you have a wonderful day